Hello to you my dear fellow colleague friends and dear lovely people of the internet. Welcome to another video uh, that is going to be about home studio for the budget seekers. So which means if you are a budget seeker and you want to create an illusion that you are actually sitting in the studio while not being in the studio at all, this video is definitely for you. By the way, my name is Vojta and on this channel I talk about several topics that are connected with media, new media or technologies. So in case you are interested about these topics, please don't forget to subscribe. Basically to sum this one up, the main goal of this video is to stay on the low budget without sacrificing the quality. And in order to do so, I have divided this video into, uh, let's say, five sections, yeah, uh, that are going to be uh, the lights, uh, the camera, the software, uh, green screen and the sound. So I'm going to provide to you the timestamps for those sections. Make sure to check out the description. So the first section is called the lights. Please let me introduce to you a very sophisticated system of my key lights, which is called the window number one and window number two. Yes, I am using the natural light, which has got a big advantage for the budget seekers, which means it's for free. However, there are some drawbacks. If you want to use the natural light, that means that you need to make your shootings during the day when the light is still available. Quite obviously, if you would like to do it during the night, I don't think it would be that much helpful. Another significant drawback is that the light is not stable or the conditions are not stable, especially when the sky is changing. So you prepare your scene, you prepare your settings uh, and it may look okay, but then suddenly the sky is changing and the conditions are actually changing and the settings is not ready for that. So unfortunately, this significant drawback could of course affect your scene. Last but not least, uh, if the light is not good, it is of course going to affect your scene as well, which means if there is cloudy outside, uh, it is not going to provide a very pleasant warm look, uh, so it is another significant drawback. By the way, I had to change the settings for this scene because the conditions have changed during the time I was shooting this part of the video, which simply underlines what I have said uh, before. It's quite a significant drawback, but on the other hand, it's still for free. Another part of the video I would like to talk about uh, is the webcam, uh, which by the way I do prefer in compared to DSLR because it is far less expensive option. On the other hand, I definitely do not recommend to use your uh, webcam that is built in the laptop because most of the laptops today still do not allow you to shoot in uh, full HD. So you simply need to find the webcam that allows you to shoot in 1080p, which means full HD. And uh, that has got an affiliated software with it. Um, then you are actually um, safe to match the streaming standard. By the way, this video I'm actually shooting on Logitech C920, which is considered to be like the standard for streamers. It's the classic camera. I mean, if you want to stay classy, uh, conservative, uh, you can't be more classy than this, okay? Uh, this camera has been around more than eight years, I guess, maybe even more. And uh, it is definitely not the newest type of the camera, but it simply allows you to, to match the, the streaming standard. It shoots in 1080p, which means in full HD, and uh, uh, it has got an affiliated software with it. Um, I have checked the prices on the Amazon today. Uh, you could still buy this camera for less than $80, depending on what part of the world you are actually from. But be very careful because uh, unfortunately uh, the coronavirus situation has increased overall the prices uh, of the webcams on the market. So be careful, be careful uh, not to pay more than you actually have to. Speaking of not paying more than you actually have to, uh, there is even a better option for the budget seekers, uh, especially when you don't want to invest any money in the webcam. Uh, simply use your smartphone. I'm actually assuming that you already have your smartphone, so once you have it, uh, you get a free webcam. The only thing you need to do actually is to download the app that allows you to use uh, your smartphone as the webcam and there you go, you get a free webcam. So it's quite an elegant solution how to do this and you are still on the budget. 
And of course, if you want to start recording or streaming or whatever, you are going to need a software for this. And for this purpose, I simply have to recommend OBS Studio, which is open broadcaster software. And the great news, it's for free as well, because it's open source and it allows you to do some video recording, live streaming. You may record yourself using the webcam or anything that... Uh, serves as a webcam and uh, you may uh, record your display or whatever you want uh, or whatever this program allows you to do. Personally, I really like the OBS Studio uh, and uh, to be quite honest, this whole video is actually being shot on the OBS Studio as well. OBS Studio is without any doubt an amazing software, but in case you would like to do some editing, you are going to need something else. So for the purpose of the editing, I definitely have to recommend uh, DaVinci Resolve software, which is an editing software and color grading software as well, uh, by Blackmagic Design. And on their websites, after you fill some registration, you are allowed to download uh, the basic version of this program for free. But no matter how basic this version may look like or sound, I still have to say that for the most users, uh, it is going to be absolutely okay. Uh, the basic version is definitely sufficient enough and in my humble opinion, even for the more demanding users. And of course, you don't need to use the latest version of this program. I'm actually using the pre-previous version of this program and it's still absolutely okay. So I hardly recommend you DaVinci Resolve as an editing software. So now I'm going to talk about the green screen, uh, which is the tool that you probably don't need as a necessity. But based on my experience, I simply have to say that the green screen could be very helpful. At the same time, I just want to say, never buy the green screen that is uh, folded because then you won't be able to iron it out and it won't work the way it is actually supposed to work. So uh, if we want to stay on the budget, uh, the best option is to buy the green screen that is rolled up. This is definitely going to be the best uh, option, uh, at least for most cases. I have actually bought mine for less than 20 euros, so as you can see, it is quite affordable. And of course, you are going to need uh, to unroll uh, this green screen. And after that, you are going to need some sort of construction to hang it up. And this is quite honestly a room for improvisation because uh, you definitely don't have to buy overpriced professional constructions uh, that may do the job quite well, of course. But uh, on the other hand, it is definitely not obvious whether you are using them or not. Uh, just simply try to find something that works. I'm actually using, in my case, I'm using the microphone stand in combination with uh, the rubber rope and it is quite difficult to describe it in detail once you do not have the opportunity to see it right now. The only thing you see actually is the result behind me. So I'm using the green screen in order to create an illusion that I'm actually sitting in the studio while not being at studio at all. And as you may see, it actually works. And you don't have a chance to see whether I'm using a professional construction or whether I'm using, using some sort of, you know, <laughs> gear that is uh, based on uh, the improvisation. I mean, um, yeah, be creative. Don't be afraid to be creative here because uh, you may save a lot of money. Another good idea how to create, uh, let's say, some sort of improvised construction is to take, for example, two uh, coat uh, stands uh, and to use the broomstick. And uh, this gives you some sort of improvised construction uh, where you could hang up uh, your green screen to unroll it. And then I'm sure it is going to do uh, the very good job afterwards. So, uh, like I have said, don't be afraid to improvise. And the pros of the green screen are quite obvious. You may simply use whatever background you want just to create an illusion you are somewhere where you're actually not. And of course, you may hide behind that green screen something you don't want to show to your viewers. So for example, if you're not a big fan of cleaning your room, um, then it might be a pretty helpful tool for you. The last part I would like to talk about is the sound. And as you may see, or 
here uh, I'm definitely not using the cheapest option. I'm using the Shure SM58, uh, which is probably the most universal microphone that has been ever created. I love this microphone, to be quite honest with you. And uh, this is as well considered to be the standard of the microphones. And it's definitely not the cheapest option, like I have already said. But I'm going to show you the cheapest option uh, or something that I definitely considered to be the budget option without sacrificing the overall accepted quality. And for the sake of uh, this, I will show you uh, the sound from a very old uh, headset from the Logitech. To be quite honest with you, I don't even know what type is that. Uh, I just know it is actually quite old, uh, but whatever, let's hear it. So quite obviously you may hear the difference right now, but this difference shouldn't be surprising at all. On the other hand, if I didn't have any other option, I think this one is still okay, at least uh, for the start. Uh, I mean, if you are going to generate a quality content, uh, I'm pretty sure that your your audience will not care that much uh, whether you are using a USB headset or some sort of, let's say, fancy microphone. So I think for the beginners or for somebody who wants to stay on the budget, this option is quite okay. And by the way, the prices of these uh, headsets are quite friendly. Here in the Czech Republic, you may buy a quality headset for, I would say, 20 euros. So it's quite okay. So to sum this one up, we've got natural light, that's for free. We've got smartphone as a webcam, that is free as well. Or if you want to invest, you may buy an external webcam for approximately, let's say, $80. Then we've got a software for recording, which is OBS Studio, that is free. And we've got software for editing, which is DaVinci Resolve, the basic version that is for free as well. Then we've got uh, the green screen uh, that uh, we may buy for approximately 20 euros. And we've got a sound, I mean the headset, USB headset that is uh, accessible for that 20 euros as well. So, in relation to the budget and the quality, in my opinion, this is sort of a killer combo. However, if you think it is possible to go even cheaper without sacrificing the quality, please let me know in the comment section. I would be very interested about this sort of insight and I think not just me. Last but not least, I just want to point out that once you are able to reach a certain level of a technical quality that is considered to be a standard, then the gear quite honestly doesn't matter that much. Please remember, just because you buy the most expensive camera, it doesn't mean that you are going to become the greatest cameraman. It doesn't work like that and it is still uh, the content that is the most important part of your work. So, my dear fellow colleague, friends and dear lovely people of the internet, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for your attention. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give me thumbs up and see you next time.